Welcome to the Sandbox Training. This lesson will introduce asset placement and movement in the Game Maker to build a scene. To get started, open or create an experience in the Game Maker. Let's find some assets to use to create a scene in the Asset Library. Open the library by pressing L. Let's add two assets to our quick access bar from the props and two assets from the characters tab. Now, let's learn how to place and remove objects. An object is an instance of an asset placed in an experience. You can place as many objects as you want using an asset. With an asset in the quick access bar selected, left click inside the viewport to place it. Pressing shift will snap the object to the grid when placing. To remove an object, we can right click the object in place mode or we can press Z to change to select mode, left click an object and press delete. While in select mode, and an object selected, we can duplicate it by hitting Ctrl D. We can also multi-select objects. If we drag the mouse to draw a rectangle, it will select all the objects behind the rectangle to the edge of the experience. If we hold Shift, we can click one item at a time to add it to our selection. If we hold Ctrl, we can add or remove objects from our selection. The grid system and snap tools allow for custom block and asset placement for any project. If we open the grid settings, we can show or hide the grid, change the scale of the grid, or the grid's opacity. If we place an object with the grid O snap toggled on, you'll notice the object snaps in place. Here, we can toggle off the X, Y, or Z axes. We can also snap an object to the ground with just a click. Now, let's learn how to move objects. Changing to Move mode and selecting the object, we'll turn on the Move Gizmo. From here, we can click and drag the colored arrow to move the object in that axis. If we move the mouse pointer between the two arrows, we activate a plane to move only between those axes. If we move to the center where the arrows meet, we activate a cube to move freely between all three axes. In the Properties panel, we can also modify position coordinates to move the asset with precision. We can also customize the grid to our preference. Let's change the grid's movement setting to two blocks and turn on O Snap. So now when we move objects, they'll snap in two block increments. Let's learn how to rotate objects. By pressing O, we turn off O snap. Changing to rotate mode, we can hit R and select an object, which will turn on the rotate gizmo. We can click and drag to rotate in one axis. If we hover over the gizmo, we'll activate a sphere to freely rotate between all axes. In the Properties panel, we can also modify the rotation for precise movements. We can also customize the grid for our preference for rotation. Let's change the grid's rotation setting to 30 degrees. With O snap turned on, when we rotate, it will snap in 30 degree increments. Let's take a look at the Hierarchy panel. Any object can be moved or rotated in relation to a parent object. This relationship can be created in the hierarchy panel. To view the hierarchy panel, click the bottom left icon on your screen or hit H. If we click on an object in the viewport, we'll notice it's highlighted in the hierarchy panel. In the hierarchy panel, if we drag and drop that object onto another object, it will make it the child. Now, if we select the parent object and move it, the child moves as well. Let's use what we've learned to build a small scene of objects. It takes time to get used to the controls with the mouse and the keyboard shortcuts, but the tools are very flexible to build any project. Now you have the basic skills needed to find assets in the library and build a scene in the Sandbox Game Maker.